nice of you to drop in. And just in time. Oh, he's my parasol. <laughs> Remember, you gave your word. You have one minute. Do they even have manners where he comes from? <laughs> you see, it's a tradition in my house to open one present each on Christmas Eve. Hmm. How about this one? How many lives did you just take? None! I think? That was just a little stocking stuffer. A construction site blocking my view. <laughs> but this one isn't. <laughs> I've long waited for this moment. With your death, I will find peace. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, I present I to you... The death of the Batman! Let us see what you can do. These tricks will not help you. Exerted myself, yet already you falter. I won't stand by and watch you kill yourself. I'm calling Captain Gordon. No, not now. The city below will bear witness. Very good. I see there is still some fight left in you. Yes. Now beat it out of him! Gordon is on his way, sir. You have to hold Bane off until he arrives. Whoever wants a piece of the bat better get in the night. 
To the house, but a creature was stirring, not even a... Oh, well, a bat was stirring, but a few more blows to the head and he won't be anymore. <laughs> when I'm done with him, I'll be coming for you, my asshole loco. Stand your ground. Ooh! <laughs> he hit you so hard it hurt me! Accept your end! Now we are getting somewhere! Come on, at least make a fight out of it! I want my money's worth! Fifty million dollars worth! <laughs> Will you confront or avoid? Looks like this is it. It was nice knowing you. Actually, no. I expected you to be a more worthy opponent. You disappoint. Just ran out of time. Now this is what I call a party. <laughs> this rooftop's getting too hot. Very bad man. 
Ooh, the things they've done. You really don't want to know. They deserved death. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> Freeze! Don't move, freak! I think he's talking to you. Take him down! Down! Let me guess. He got away. Take him to Blackgate. to save your sorry ass. You know, officer. <laughs> I was wondering the same thing myself. Welcome to Blackgate. We're gonna do a quick psychiatric evaluation. Bad day, huh? Cops in this city. Always beating on the sick and defenseless. Tell me something, dear. Have you ever had a really bad day? And what do you mean by that? You all people should know. <laughs> There's nothing so cruel as memory. The pointy, biting little thunderbolts, unwanted party crashes, screaming for your synapses. <laughs> Inescapable, unrelenting, not at all friendly. You can't even escape into madness. <laughs> and then you meet someone who changes your life. And you feel that you don't even know who you are anymore. Are you serious? Isn't it funny how one little encounter can cleave off little pieces of your past, deform your memories and persona until you rethink your whole identity? <laughs> and as you realize how foolish it all is, <laughs> your laughter reverberates off the walls of your own. Okay, I'm gonna need more specifics. How about we try some word association? That sounds... Delightful. <laughs> okay, one more. And I need you to be serious for this one. Fate. <laughs> you wanna know something funny? I used to think of fate as evil, predetermined not by some higher power, no, but by the rules of human nature. But tonight, it's all changed. What's changed? Have you ever had the feeling that your entire life has been building towards this one moment? Is that how you feel? <laughs> well, now, yes. Now I realize that all the battles, the bad days, the brutalities. It was all the hand of fate at work. So now you see fate differently? <laughs> Absolutely. And now I understand there are no chance encounters. It was all meant to be. Everything leading up to who I've met tonight. So you've met someone special? Yes. And you might say it's changed everything. Everything? Absolutely. I mean, do you realize what a vile world we live in? How lonely it is to wade through all that wretched filth on your own? 
It is kind of lonely, isn't it? Of course. Of course, you understand. Even in a crowd of other screwballs, <laughs> you're so alone that you can kick, claw, yell, scream at the top of your lungs. No one cares. It's like you don't even exist. I feel... And how does that make you feel? I feel adrift, floating, like someone's pulled the stopper on my reality, and I'm sucked down the drain into something new. It's all very exciting, really. <laughs> you wouldn't know what that feels like, I'm sure. I might. Can you tell me more about how this person makes you feel? It's like meeting someone I can actually relate to. Which, believe me, dear, I've never felt before. <laughs> you understand. You're someone who's not afraid to let go and fall. <laughs> Free falling, and I didn't pack a shoot. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yes. Yes, I do. I figured you would. So, may I ask, who is this person? Oh, someone very, very special. But whose real name I don't even know yet. Uh, my name's Halleen. Halleen Quinzel. What a pretty name. Do your friends call you Honey? Oh, uh... I don't have a lot of friends. Well, Harley, you got one now. you do. Master Bruce, it might be a bit anticlimactic, but I hoped you might finally be ready to celebrate Christmas Eve, now that the Joker's behind bars. Bane is still out there. I've got to locate the signal from the tracker I placed on him. Even you must eat, sir. If you hadn't called the police, he'd already be in custody. You know, I made a promise of my own to your parents. No sign of any casualties. Not now, Alfred. The story back at the precinct. Play Seabat. Found bombs under the foundation. Some kind of hopped up freak. Must have been 400 pounds of muscle. Took six cops to gun that bastard down. Yeah, I saw the body in the morgue. Couldn't believe it. Sounds like this could be Bane or one of his men. If I hurry to the GCPD morgue, I can inspect the body and the autopsy report. Well, before you leave, I've run some tests on the compound you found at the steel mill. Looks like a match for your globular projectile for non-lethal restraint. You mean the glue grenade? Indeed. The resin has finished curing. It's at your workbench. Of course, I'd recommend testing it here in the lab before you go. But I'm sure you won't listen to me. You never do.
So I take it you won't be testing. allow you to go. You're outmatched by these I'm assassins. What? You're not some hardened vigilante. You're a young man with a trust fund and too much anger. You're in over your head and I... I don't want this to be your end. Alfred, who do you see when you look at me? The boy whose shoes you used to tie every morning? The teenager you drove to his first date? While you are here every night, I am out there. The only thing between the innocent you and the may predatory. be no not but may be i am when the mugger or the thief stops to think twice that is fear that is what i am that is why they hired assassins because i am the reason the criminals breathe easier when the sun rises so no alfred i am not in over my head tonight will not be my end but it will be theirs I trust you realize you can't just waltz into the GCPD after everything that's happened there tonight. I know I can't do that. I'll have to find a way in that'll avoid detection. Indeed. We're in for it now. Uh, now look, I'm sorry about what I said before you left. I hope you understand. Just because... It's okay. I understand. Shoot! It's our turn. Got a problem, boys. Where do I get my hands? Sounds like a fight. Let's check it out. He's taking us apart. Hold still, damn it.
I got multiple calls available. Sending them out in priority order. me up all you want. I should try to use my new glue grenade to plug these pipes.
It's not Bane, but one of his men. The same one I saw at the riot in the precincts holding cells earlier. I should scan his corpse. Scanning this corpse may provide clues as to... The victim was dosed with a chemical that caused a temporary deformation of his physiology. I'll need to check the autopsy report to find out more. That computer should contain the autopsy report I'm looking for. Interesting. The victim was using a powerful compound with many similarities to the street drug Venom at the time of his death. It changes the user's muscle and bone structure, greatly enhancing strength for a temporary period. It appears that whatever this compound is, it reduces mental capacity in several ways, including severe damage to the brain's memory center. Prolonged use could seriously compromise the user's memory. There's Bane's tracker. I should hurry to Bane's location before I lose the signal again. I'm liking these odds. Die already! I've been waiting to punch someone. This hurt.
Think you can take us all? Baby, don't hurt me. I had a troubled childhood. Tracking signal I saw was coming from somewhere down that tunnel.
Hurt on you. We will take your head. What kind of man are you? Blue grenade to create a raft. Tracking device is in here somewhere, which means Bane is likely in here as well. Impressive work, but it looks like Bane hasn't found a way to counter the damaging side effects this compound has on the brain's memory centers.
Some of this research is dedicated to overcoming his own addiction and dependency on Venom. He can't survive without it. 